So Kishimoto has officially revealed the role along with the name of Boruto and it tells us very clearly where Boruto's story will be heading to. Now we know what does it mean to be a shinobi as it was explained very well in the Naruto series. And it seems like Kishimoto has made Boruto understand what is actually meant by being a shinobi by giving a read to the recent chapter of the series. Boruto's name has been described as God Killer which means that in the series later to come, he will be killing all of the so-called gods which are in the series. Let's get into today's video without any further delay and find out where Kishimoto is planning to take Boruto in the series. Boruto Naruto Next Generations has recently entered its time jump phase and it is safe to say that the most thrilling section of the plot has arrived. Fans have been waiting for the time skip to happen since the first chapter of the series in order to obtain a clear picture of what happened to Konoha and their favorite seventh Hokage. While some of those issues such as Naruto's horrible destiny have already been resolved, others remained unsolved. And the events of the plot leading up to the time jump have only prompted additional questions that fans are eager to have answered. Finally, Boruto Chapter 80 assured that the series began its time skip, and fans now have a lot to look forward to. One of the most intriguing parts of the Boruto series is how it has elevated the hero's actual body types. Naruto and Sasuke were once just a shinobi who leveled up because of their Uzumaki and Uchiha ancestry, as well as the fact that they were rebirths of the Sage of the Six Paths son, Ashura and Indra. However, here, the story twists a little. Naruto-san and Kawaki, on the other hand, have a whole different story to tell, and it's all connected to the extraterrestrial heritage of the Otsutsuki clan. Interestingly, as Boruto Chapter 74 keeps teasing their future in Konoha, a major thread has emerged indicating that both youths will undergo massive adjustments and power increases in the near future. Fans observed Ada's omnipotence power in Boruto Chapter 79 which reversed the lives of Boruto and Kawaki. It persuaded everyone that Boruto was an intruder who murdered Naruto and turned Kawaki into Naruto's son, who was brought up and grew up in Konoha. As a result of Ada's power, everyone begins seeking for Boruto in the following chapter. Only a few people were unaffected by Ada's magic and Sarada Uchiha was one of them. She persuaded her father, Sasuke, that Boruto is actually an ally. Sasuke trusted his daughter, assisted Boruto, and transported him away from the village. As the story ended, Boruto resolved to train in order to fight Kawaki and show him wrong. Boruto supporters' excitement has been heightened by the recent disclosure of the Boruto time skip. The next episode could potentially focus on the training Boruto will receive in order to become a better version of himself and face Kawaki, who now fully holds the power of Ishiki Otsutsuki. Both Naruto and Boruto are anticipated to get a boost in the forthcoming chapters, which will leave a big impact on the manga by enthralling fans with its fantastic storyline. Boruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha, as seen in the last episode, are all set to leave the village in order to grow stronger. They are doing this to achieve their objectives. Boruto Uzumaki's purpose is to demonstrate that he can change his own destiny and in doing so set his brother on the proper road. The goal for Sasuke Uchiha will be to protect the village while also rescuing his best friend, Naruto Uzumaki. However, in the time skip, as the protagonist attempts to uncover the truth behind Ada's machinations and the changed memories that have turned friends into adversaries, the plot may thicken even more. Boruto's drive to confront his brother and defend the Leaf Village would almost certainly push him to seek out new allies and refine his talents. Boruto will have the opportunity to receive crucial guidance and support with Sasuke by his side. Furthermore, Sarada and Boruto's friendship may strengthen as she now holds the powerful Mangekyo Sharingan and shares Boruto's dedication to uncovering the truth. Meanwhile, the villain's plans are going to keep evolving, with Code pursuing vengeance on Kawaki and intending to destroy Boruto because he believes Boruto killed Ishiki. As long as the Leaf Hamlet is in upheaval, the prospect of Code's attack will hang large, pushing the Hamlet to brace itself for an impending conflict. Given that Boruto and Sasuke left the Hamlet in the goal of becoming stronger, viewers might anticipate Boruto gaining new talents. If not, supporters can hope that he has gotten better control of his karma. Even if Boruto did not gain any new powers, practicing with Sasuke should have improved his mastery over his jutsu. Having said that, he may have mastered the courageous Rasengan as well. Also, Boruto and Sasuke left the Hidden Leaf Village in search of new strength. They will undoubtedly return if they acquire enough power to beat Kawaki. As a result, fans may expect Boruto and Sasuke to be confident in their new skills and to return to the Hidden Leaf Village in the hopes of rescuing Naruto and Hinata from Kawaki's Daikokuten reality. 
But not only this, there will very certainly be numerous new character designs for characters like Sarada and Mitsuki. While fans are already aware of Kawaki's character design, the same has not been revealed for the other characters. As a result, fans may expect new designs for characters like Shikadai, Inojin, Chocho, Denki, Mero, Iwabe, and other minor characters introduced in the anime. Boruto himself will be evolved as a god killer, which means that he will be killing many gods in the series. Fans are expecting to see that as well in the time skip. While it appears that Boruto Timeskip will disclose new skills mastered by Boruto and his teacher Sasuke, the same could be shown through a fight the duo may become involved in outside of the Hamlet. Given that Code was previously assembling his army, viewers might expect Boruto and Sasuke to eliminate a number of Code's followers. This will assist fans in learning their new combat tactics. As in the previous chapters, fans saw Code, he was alongside Bug, assembling an army of humanoid beings to defeat Kawaki and Boruto. As a result, fans may anticipate Code to finish building his army in the time skip. However, given the alteration in the Hidden Leaf Town situation with Boruto and Sasuke outside the town, there is also the potential that Code is keeping a watch on the duo in order to defeat them when possible. Another thing that can be expected in the time skip is Kawaki who may have had enough of waiting for Boruto to return to the village with a time skip of 3 to 4 years. As a result, he may attempt to locate his brother through Ada. Nonetheless, given her pledge to Boruto, she may not share it. As a result, Kawaki may devise a new approach to bring Boruto back from hiding. Making Himawari a target would be the greatest method for him to carry out the plan. Kawaki's attachment to Naruto has become so extreme that he is willing to either put himself in grave danger or put his own life on the line merely to protect someone he admires and cares about so much in prior chapters of the series. This eventually led to his accepting Amado's offer of implanting a new karma mark within him. But the latest chapter begins to plant the seeds of the wicked Kawaki we see at the start of the series with that initial flash forward. However, the character who will suffer the most in time skip is Kara's current commander, Code. Aside from having a complete arc dedicated to his story in part 1, as well as a legitimate stake in any confrontation between Boruto and Kawaki, Kara's disappointing weakening as a threat further lessens his relevance to the story. Despite his promise to assault Konoha and his new humanoid form of the Ten Tails Beast, Code must have succumbed to Ada's omnipotence. While this strengthens his hatred for Boruto, it should negate his most ardent desire, the abolition of Kawaki. In any case, the scenario reduces Code to the level of a supporting character at best. This is not to say that these characters will become utterly insignificant. Rather, their potential, which was meticulously built up in the first part of Boruto, will never be realized in part 2. And that's pretty much it. Let us know in the comments what you think of it. If you've enjoyed everything so far, then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn the notification bell on along with that so you can always get to watch more such stuff in future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.